Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing another tablet unboxing and review and hopefully a little bit of a speed paint at the end as well. Um, as XP Pen UK were kind enough to send me another tablet. This time it's the Deco Mini 7. Look, it's like a really nice box. I think it's to celebrate their 15th anniversary but yeah like, so first impressions I like the packaging <laughs> um, on the back some specifications so as you can see it's a battery free stylus pressure sensitivity levels which to be honest I don't that means nothing to me I don't really know what a good comparison is and so the USB-C USB interface. Uh, it's compatible with, I mean, like all the current <laughs> software really that is most commonly used. So, um, yeah. Oh, and it comes with eight customizable shortcuts, which is that's quite a lot. I think the most I've ever had on a tablet is four. So eight's quite a lot. Okay. Oh, once again, they've got their little uh, fox sticker uh, with their opening times and email if you need to contact them, which, yeah, it's quite useful. I'll take the actual tablet out of the wrapper in a second. I mean, I haven't actually looked through any of this yet, so... Ooh. I don't know what this is. Stickers, but <laughs> also like, oh, that's really cute. I like that. So, yeah, it's for their fifteenth anniversary. And some little postcards. That's so cute. And then in here is obviously all the fun stuff. <laughs> um, hindsight I should have maybe opened the packaging before I started filming <laughs> okay this pen is really nice it's like this this bit here is all like not like fabric but it's really soft like it's quite good grip and the button is raised up quite nicely so that you can feel it. I always think it's good when the uh, button on the pen is raised up a little bit because then you don't have to like search for it, you can just feel it. <laughs> yeah, I like this pen, I have no complaints. <laughs> Cable. Spare nibs, and there's quite a few of them, so that's always good. Um, you know, uh, for different USB port types and to fit in Android and things like that. So that's good. This little thing. Somebody on the other unboxing video I did commented saying it's to help remove nibs. So that's, I guess that's what that is. <laughs> awesome. And obviously, like the quick start guide. That's, I'll read it later, but. <laughs> Okay, it's actually not as small as I was expecting, like, I knew it was a small tablet that they were sending me, but it's not too much smaller than one of the tablets I used to use, like, a while ago, so that's quite, like, yeah, I think that's a workable size, <laughs> and for me, I prefer smaller tablets anyway, so, yeah, you can see all the, the shortcut buttons, they're round. I've not had one with round buttons before. Don't not that that'll make a difference, I'm sure. But yeah, on the back you can see it's got the grips to hold it in place, which is always handy. You don't want your tablet sliding around. <laughs> yeah. I mean first impressions, I'm happy with it all. It all seems good. <laughs> so on to the setup.
Okay, so the setup is really simple. You just go to the XP Pen drivers page, type in the make of tablet you have, and click on the image of that tablet. And then it will take you to a download page where you can select the appropriate software for you, either Mac or Windows. Um, there's also a download guide on that same page if you need any help. Um, click on the software that's correct for you, in my case Windows. Um, download it. Once it's downloaded, go into your downloads and you'll have a zip file which you need to extract. Um, you do need to disable your antivirus temporarily um, before extracting and installing the software, but literally it takes like a few minutes to install, so you can just turn it back on, it's no problem. Um, once you've extracted the files and run it, and it will just bring up a pop-up thing that you literally just click install, that's how easy it is, and it will do it. And then you will have the little icon for the tablet pen, you can click on that. Um, obviously plug the tablet in first after you've installed it and then you can adjust the settings and it is really that simple like I had no trouble with it it's really quick it literally takes a few minutes to do it's great <laughs> yeah and then you can play with the pressure settings and stuff so on to using the tablet itself I did adjust the pressure sensitivity slightly rather than just using the default settings um, the default settings were fine, I probably could have used them, but I felt I wanted it a little bit more sensitive, I guess. So, you might want to play around with that, but it's no big deal. The sensitivity is so easy to adjust, it's, you know, it's not a problem. So, please excuse the shaky camera in the drawing portion of this video um I was filming with my iPad literally balanced on my lap because I don't have much space at the moment which actually this tablet was great for that because I could literally fit my laptop and the tablet on my tiny little coffee table um which is the only space I had available so I was like oh my god it fits perfectly I was yeah it's brilliant um, the tablet itself is 7 by 4 inches, as the tablet as a whole, obviously the actual drawing area is a bit smaller than that. Um, but in my opinion, this is like the perfect size tablet, because it's not so small that you feel constricted by it, but it's not big, like you can fit it anywhere really, like that you would normally draw. And I think if you're someone who travels a lot, it would be a great view because you could easily fit it like on a table in a train or a park bench or something. Or if you draw on your phone a lot, I think it'd be quite good for that as well because you wouldn't necessarily want a large tablet connected to your tiny little phone screen. Um, or just if you don't want to drag around a large tablet, like this would be great because it's lightweight and small. The shortcut buttons all worked fine. Um, I think the undo key is set to the like fourth button down, which is like the ideal place for having your hand there when you're working. Um, and the buttons have like a tiny little raised, like either a dot or a line, so that you can feel which button you're pressing rather than having to keep looking down at the buttons, which is quite handy. In terms of drawing and the pen, um, the pen was very responsive. Pressure-wise, I th like okay, I had to adjust it slightly to suit me, but it was otherwise fine. It wasn't any less sensitive, as far as I could tell, than like more expensive tablets I'd used or larger tablets. Um, the pen itself is comfortable to hold, and it didn't slip around in my hand particularly, which was good. Um, that well the only issue maybe is that when I come to put the pen down there's nothing to put it in like I do think it would benefit from having like a little fabric loop attached to the tablet to use as a pen holder just to stop the pen rolling away but like honestly in general that is the one criticism I have of this tablet like everything else is absolutely brilliant I think all the deco series actually comes with a free download of art rage light which 
if you're a beginner artist that would be great um it's quite a basic program but like honestly if you're a beginner looking for just a low-cost tablet and a free sort of program just to experiment with this would be perfect for you because you could literally get the tablet and then download the program which is easy to do um you can go on the page on the deco page for information um yeah and then you're all set to sort of get you started with drawing and then obviously you can move on to more advanced like programs and stuff as you get more used to it but it saves you shedding out a load of money for something you don't know how you're going to get along with i think this tablet is fine as well for people who are more i guess my level well, like intermediate level like i had no problems using this tablet i didn't find it lacking particularly in anything that i needed so if you're looking for a lower cost tablet like for me i have been looking for a sort of backup tablet because i usually use an on like an on my ipad basically to draw so i did kind of want just a backup low cost <laughs> tablet that didn't take up too much space just in case something happened to my ipad and then i could just whip out this little tablet and this is like perfect for that so if you're someone who's looking for like a backup tablet this would be brilliant or just like you know a regular tablet and you don't want to spend a load of money like honestly this would be perfect for you in terms of cost i believe the deco mini 7 is 49.99 um from xp pen uk Personally, I think that's a fair price for this tablet and I think it's certainly affordable or achievable in terms of a saving up goal. And I do, I, yeah, I think it's worth that price. Genuinely, I really do love this tablet. I'm not just saying that because it's like a review video or it's been sent to me. Like genuinely, I do think it's a great tablet and would recommend it to anyone looking for a new tablet, certainly for beginners and for more experienced artists as well so yes if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below and i will do my best to reply any feedback is always appreciated and thank you so much for watching i hope this video is useful for anyone trying to find a new tablet or wondering about um this particular type of tablet I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you're staying safe and are well and everything else. So yes. Thank you. Bye.